Saxons. Saxons. Welcome back to school and welcome back to Finn. Halloween's over, but now we have Thanksgiving to look forward to. And with Thanksgiving comes a five day weekend from the 22nd to the 26th. That's next week. We should have plenty of time to figure out what to say when someone asks, what are you thankful for? Well, I already know I'm thankful for general news. The next Hispanic Honor Society meeting will be in M308 on Friday, November 17th at 7.30 a.m. with a repeat meeting at 2.30 p.m. They will have a guest speaker from the College and Career Center as well as a plan for their annual bulk food drive. All members should attend. On Thursday the 16th, come see the Ferris String Quartets in the Small Ensemble Recital at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Admissions are free. Sports Medicine Club is selling first aid kits until next Monday the 20th. A great Christmas present for new drivers and hikers. You can come to the club or buy them for Miss Graham during first lunch or after school. Tickets for the winter musical, A Christmas Girl, are now on sale. Limited pre-sale tickets are $10 at the business office through November 29th, and general admission tickets are $12 at the door. The show runs from November 30th to December 2nd and December 7th to the 9th. The matinee on the 9th is at 2 p.m., and all other shows are at 7 p.m. Class of 2024's Mod Pizza fundraiser will be on Thursday from 10.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. at the Mod by Target. Need some help handling homework? The fine folks at the Homework Center got you covered. They meet every day except Friday at 3 to 4 in the library. Rowan Patterson went on down to explore the Homework Center. What's up, Saxons? Daniel's here. I'm really excited to announce the relaunch of the Homework Center. So I'm here in our beautiful library where we'll be hosting the Homework Center every single Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 3 to 4 o'clock. We will be starting today, right after school. I'm also really excited to announce that not only myself will be here every single day for the Homework Center, we'll also have some students from Gonzaga University from their education program. They will be in here to help sure, make sure you have all the help you need, whether it's retesting, getting caught up on homework, anything you need. I'm also excited to announce we will have other teachers from other content areas. So I work in science and math, but we'll also have history teachers and uh, math teachers, other teachers, lots of different teachers coming in here to help you out and make sure that you are able to get all of the assistance you need. I'm also excited to announce that I hate the term homework center. So I'm gonna leave it up to you. We're gonna start as of today, a homework center renaming campaign. What I want you to do, come to my room, L103, on my desk, I will have a suggestion box. Put your suggestion for the new name for the Homework Center. Include your name. If your name is chosen and we find that you have picked the best new name for the Homework Center, you will get a special prize. I'm really excited to get the Homework Center started. I'm really excited to see everybody in here. Please come take advantage of this opportunity. If you feel like at any point you are stressing out about classes, you are stressing about the amount of work you have, if you need to make up a test, come to the, one of the most quietest areas in this school with teachers like myself, professionals from Gonzaga, other teachers, we'll be able to get you all the assistance you need. Come take advantage. I can't wait to see you guys. Hey Ferris, go to Homework Center. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Club and activity photos for the yearbook have been delayed to the 29th. Of course, I didn't stop Ian Edwards from talking to the man behind the camera, Mr. Cox. Yeah, I'm Mr. Cox. I teach photography and yearbook here at Ferris High School. I've been at Ferris for about 15 years. Um, I've really enjoyed myself here. Uh, overall, I've been teaching for over 30 years. Uh, um, so I graduated from Gonzaga University um, and I got my master's in teaching there. Um, but uh, my first teaching job was uh, actually teaching English in Japan. Um, I wanted to uh, see more of the world. I had already done Gonzaga in Florence, Italy, so I got a chance to travel around Europe. Um, but then after graduating, I thought it might be another opportunity since I you know, didn't have a formal job or a family or anything like that. So I took a chance and got a teaching job teaching English in Japan so I got to travel around Asia and I met my wife over there. She's from New York. She was another English teacher. Um, but uh, teaching has uh, given me many opportunities to teach a variety of uh, things and uh, keep things lively. And 
change is, is good and growth is good and uh, what better profession there is than education to be kind of a lifelong learner. Um, so teaching is a great profession. You should consider it. Moving on to club news. Advisory Club Day is next Monday, the 20th. You can meet with your clubs during advisory. GSA meets every other Monday after school in M102. Their next meetings are today, the 27th, and the 11th. They're also meeting on the 20th for Club Day. Journalism Club meets today after school in M507. If you want to contribute to Finn, whether that's for the broadcast or the website, come join Finn after hours. Creative Writing Club, Native American Beating Club, and Chess Club all meet on Wednesday. Creative Writing Club meets in M201 from 2.45 to 3.15, Beating Club in M104 from 2.30 to 3.30, and Chess Club in M203 from 2.30 to 3.30. Environmental Club also meets on Wednesdays at 2.30 in L201. It's an extra credit for all students in AP Environmental Studies and Applied Field Science. Also, also on Wednesday is the next DECA meeting in L007 during both lunches. They'll be discussing what they're thankful for, competition prep, and more. Archery Club meets on Saturday in the Ox Gym from 1 to 3 p.m. And Bowling Club meets on Sunday at North Bowl from 1 to 2 p.m. Video Game Club meets on the 15th, 29th, and December 13th in L009 at 2.40 to 3.45 p.m. A Wii console and games will be provided, but feel free to bring your own. Japanese Club meets every other Wednesday in M310. Elisa Correa talked to the club president, Grace Barton, about the club. Two weeks ago, the Japanese club members went on their first trip to an exchange student college to branch campus of Wukugawa Women's University, where students from Nishinomiya, Spokane's sister city, were able to do a cultural exchange. Here's Japanese club co-president Grace Barton talking a little about what they did there and what Japanese club is all we about. We learned about the Moon Festival in Japan, which is where they make, they could make like desserts usually. Mm -hmm. um, and like when the moon is full and stuff like that. Um, and then we made our own original monsters based off of like scary stories and stuff in Japan. I think it's important that we um, learn more about the culture from people with experience in the culture when we're in the club because the culture is a big part of the language itself and if we want to learn the language or learn anything about the culture it's better to go to somebody that knows something about it um, and experience it for yourself. We do a lot of different things. It's usually uh, centered around Japanese culture because again Japanese culture is a part of the language. Um, so we really just do like crafts and stuff like that, origami, um, and we have a festival. So it's again all centered around culture where there's like games that are common in Japan, stuff like that. We make designs for shirts, stuff like that. The festival, we haven't had like a specific date yet, but it's usually um, in October, November. Now on to sports news. GSL Sports Passes are now available. A pass is good for all regular season games at all 16 Greater Spokane League schools. Check out the prices of the business office or on the website with the poster QR code. Winter sports started last week. If you are not planning on participating in a winter sport, there will be winter weights and conditioning starting Monday, November 27th. Boys sections are going Mondays and Wednesdays from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. and girls sections are going Tuesdays and Thursdays, also from 3 to 4. If you are interested in participating in winter weights and conditioning, please see Coach Herrera in the weight room to get a form. Now, finally, here's a little senior news. Senior portraits are past due, but if you need an extension, you should contact Mr. Cox at timdc at spokaneschools.org so they'll be sure to reserve a space. This Thursday, seniors in mythology will be having a meeting about their trip to Greece, although where they will learn more about the origins of the iconic tales that they've been learning about. Luciano Madrid talked to Mr. Sholand and Ms. Gooden for more. Hey everybody, uh, I'm Dan Sholand. 
I'm Jennifer Gooden. And uh, we're the two mythology teachers here at Ferris. Uh, one of the things we really believe in is getting education outside of the brick and mortar of Ferris High School. And what better way to do that than to travel the world and to see the origins of some of the great myths uh, that we're studying in mythology. So we have an opportunity to take a group of students to Greece and Italy in the summer of 2025. We'd leave around the 26th of June and return on the 7th of July. If you are interested, please check in with either of us. And um, we're gonna have a parent, we'll have night a parent meeting. On uh, the 14th at six o'clock in M019. Uh, this doesn't mean that you are signed up and definitely going to go. It's an information meeting so that you can figure out uh, how it would work, payment plans, uh, things of that nature, get all the information to your parents so that you can have a discussion about whether or not that's a possibility. If you or your parents want more information before that meeting, please come to see us. We'll take down email addresses and send out information. As you can see from here, we have quite the itinerary. Uh, planes, trains, and automobiles. We're going to be uh, going all the way through Greece and into Rome and ending in Vatican City, so it should be a fun trip. That's all for Finn. Thanks for watching. This week's Finn is brought to you by Turkey Stock. Get some in bulk today at your local stock market. Have, have a great, great week, week Saxons. Saxons.